Hey, Mahomes, Mahomes is lit up. Mahomes is lit up. Mahomes he is can lit throw up. A, he can throw it 300 yards. Look out. Bombs away. He's going for glory. Oh, my God. My New Orleans Saints offense and Miami Dolphins defensive ebooks are both on HotRouts.tips. Make sure you check them out with the link in the description. Hey guys, sorry for the lack of uploads over the past couple weeks. Been a bit busy. It was actually out at DreamHack Anaheim in California. This is what this video is from. It's from the Madden tournament at DreamHack Anaheim a couple weekends ago. $25,000 Madden tournament. This is a video from, or a game from group stage. Group stage, basically four people are in a group. Two people get out of the group to advance to single elimination. So I can still lose here and I'm still good. My, my life's still alive. But basically I was in a group with Prodigy who ended up winning the entire DreamHack tournament, the $25,000 uh, champion. Then you have Civil also was in the group. He's the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks club champion. And then we had a random person in our group who I beat like 56 to seven or something like that in the first game. He was really much, really a non-factor. Unfortunately got placed in a group with two really, really strong opponents. Um, yeah, even, you know, Civil's one of my friends. I talked to Prodigy a lot this weekend. We all felt pretty, uh, we felt like we got pretty unlucky with our group where normally you'll play pretty much three cakewalk games and, and advance, maybe one oh, kind of hard one. This one, yeah, we had two solid opponents, and uh, one of us isn't going to make it out of this group. I'm going to show you guys the game versus this prod versus Prodigy today. This was uh, one of my favorite Madden games I've played in a while. This game is wild. And then I'll show the game versus Civil tomorrow. Uh, both really good games. I think you guys are going to enjoy both of them. Anyways, enjoy. The group that we're going to be going with is the one with Throne, Civil, JT, and Prodigy. JT, what is he thinking going into that group? with Prodigy, Civil, and Throne. Yeah, this is one of the best groups we're gonna see. JT, you know, the underdog, as you can see, most guys in here, no Throne, no Civil, no Prodigy. JT's gotta play his game though, he's gotta be smart, we're going up against three heavy hitters. We've seen this a lot in group play where there might be three favorites and one underdog, but a lot of times the underdog comes out because of that underdog mentality. He knows he's gotta bring his A game every single game. So we'll see what happens. Um, that's probably one of the toughest groups we have at this tournament. And you definitely want to get out to a great start because, as we said in the beginning, there is a lot of money on the line. $25,000 to be exact. And welcome back to Anaheim, home of the Madden 20 Dream Hack Tournament. I'm your host, Rico Williams, here with T. Davis and Ivy Strafe. And fellas, we just saw an epic battle that came down to the turnover at the end when it could have been a game-winning three. How does that feel? Yeah, we got what we expected in that first game, honestly. Prodigy and Civil, two of the top guys in the Madden community. And I'm excited for this next matchup, Prodigy and Throne. I think it's I think Civil let that one get away. He played a better game than Prodigy, to be honest. Um, Prodigy snuck away with that one. I do think Prodigy is the favorite against Throne, who likes to really air the ball out with the Chiefs. I think Prodigy will be ready for that. Um, we'll see if Throne has good run defense for the Niners. Um, but I'm probably going to oh, wait till, for the rock solid picks, but I think I know I'm going to lean towards him. Here's the question. Throne came off a hundred and something to nothing win. Prodigy won a game he probably shouldn't have won. Coming into this game, who do you think's in more of the correct mindset going into this? Would you have rather had the blowout or would you have rather had the tough game that you fought back and won? Uh, it's tough. But I think Prodigy, like, squeaking out of that game is, is a confidence boost just because, man, he knew that how hard that game was going to be to begin with. He got out of there 1-0. Now he has confidence going forward. And that's kind of how Prodigy wins games. It's always just through his defense, running the ball, kind of ugly wins. Um, he's, he's comfortable winning those closed games. I think Throne isn't really sure what to expect having the easiest game first. Um, I think I'd rather be in Prodigy spot. All right, well, these guys are at it. Twitch, let us know. Make sure you are following us for your vote to count. We want to know who do you like in this matchup, Prodigy or Throne? Use the exclamation point before Prodigy. Make sure you use the exclamation point before Throne to let us know. Now, while we're waiting for the rest of America and actually the rest of the world out there watching DreamHack to cast their vote. T. Davis, who is your rock solid pick for this one? And not that we're keeping score or anything like that, but Strafing and I are one to know when he's 0-1. <laughs> there it is. Um, you know, Throne looked high powered, honestly. He won 50 to nothing, like in four minute quarters. It's insane, but I'm gonna go with the veteran here. I'm gonna go with Prodigy. I'm going with Prodigy. Um, I think he's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Um, Throne, I think, will put up a really good fight, though. He's a fun player to watch. He's exciting. He's, uh, he's He runs an ex eccentric offense this year. He doesn't run the ball every play. So. I'm interested to see what the chat says, though, because Throne is so known yeah, he's, on social media and, and Twitter. He's killing stuff. it on YouTube right Here's now. Here's what I'm telling you right now. He's killing it on YouTube. He's killing it on the field as well. Yeah. I'm going with Throne. I like Throne to go ahead and win this one. Prodigy, I think he's still going to be in his head a little bit about how much he was, because he was boxed prodigy in that last game he was not supposed to win that game 
Let's take a look. And yep, there you have it. Oh. They agree with the rock solid guy. Yeah. Good job out there, Chad. We're, we're happy that you have that opinion. But there is a reason why we play the game. Let's take a look at these two guys before they kick off. They are locked, loaded, and ready to go. Here in Anaheim, Madden 20, DreamHack. Now, as you see these guys sitting there, you know, they're waiting for to be given a green light. When not being able to see your opponent's previous game, what are your thoughts when you hear, oh my God, he won 80 something to nothing? Yeah, I mean, that's, you don't really hear that, but I think Prodigy has a couple of buddies out there that probably got the scouting report on Throne for him. So I think it'd be a little bit more prepared. I think uh, Throne watched the end of the uh, Prodigy Civil game. So I think he knows what's coming with uh, Prodigy, what he's going to run. Um, we'll see what he has cooked up on defense for that run game that Prodigy has. I think it's going to be a close game, but we'll see. That we will. All right, see everybody out there in the chat world, let us know again. What do you think about that? Coming off a huge victory or having the struggle, tough game that you prevail in, which would you rather have in your first matchup? Just so you guys know me, I prefer the blowout. Keep it easy, get to scouting. Let's go ahead and take it down to the field and here's our kick. Yeah, guys, I'm excited. I mean, throwing with high power. Every time I looked over, he was throwing a touchdown with yeah. the Chiefs. And we know how Prodigy likes to uh, control the game, play that ball clock management, play defense. So, Clash of Styles right here. Yeah, Clash of Styles, and we'll see, we'll see if Prodigy can play the way he wants to play this game. If he gets down two scores, it's going to be hard to run the ball in eye tight every single play because that gets a little scared. You take a lot of clock doing that. And Throne's goal, I think, is going to try to get him in those uncomfortable situations. And when you're playing with the Chiefs, you can create a lot of uncomfortable situations on offense. Mahomes, and, yeah. Mahomes is crazy. Yeah, he's insane. He has every ability you would ever want at a quarterback in this mode. I'm just going to say it now. He's the best quarterback I've ever seen in real life. Oh, in real life? I mean, besides... I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about... Talent-wise, yes. I'm talking about talent-wise. Talent -wise, yes, He's the yes. best quarterback I've ever seen already. I agree. Oh, Rico's mad at me. I'm trying to think. Or Rogers in his prime. I was, that's, what, that's where I was that's, exactly going. I was like, Aaron Rodgers most, might be the most talented fine. thrower of the Overrated, ball. but it's fine. I just think Mahomes is even better. He takes more chances. I think Mahomes is better than Rodgers. I would love to see Aaron Rodgers with Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey. St he had and, five good receivers back in the day. Don't give don't, oh, As a Vikings, the Vikings fan, fan, don't even get me started Vikings on that. fan. Ooh, questionable stick work right there by Prodigy. I'm not talking about resume. Obviously, Brady's resume is better. Yes, there we go. I see the Brady if love you in the chat. If you but, switch Brady and Rodgers no. on teams, how many Super Bowls I would the, never say Brady has have? more talent than Mahomes and Rodgers. I wouldn't. But Brady, if you want a guy to win your Super Bowls, if you want a leader, if you want the best quarterback ever, it's Tom Brady. I can't stand being friends with you sometimes. You start with this Patriot stuff. Okay, so here's the way I put that. Aaron Rodgers is the more talented yeah, quarterback. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tom Brady's the more accomplished yeah, quarterback. Yeah, exactly. And I think Tom Brady's a better guy. But... Nice dot. Oh, he caught him on his D tackle on oh. third and seven. Mistake by throwing there. He knows he kind of shook his head like, oh, because he's got to get off the field. Yeah, then third and seven, seven you've been playing great defense to give that wide open look right there. He's definitely going to regret that one. And you know, if he did not give up that third and seven, Prodigy might have punted. Start of the game. Yeah, definitely. So that was a big completion right there for Prodigy on that post route to Kittle. And that's why you have a George Kittle out there because he has that tight end apprentice ability. It allows it, you to put him on a corner route or a post route on any play that you want. Great tackle. People always talk about what the Chiefs defense can't do. That was phenomenal. Tyron Matthew, Chris Jones. Chris Jones helped them win that Super Bowl big time. He, not, oh, he, had, yeah. he was disruptive. He was knocking down passes left and right. He's a super underrated player nobody talks about. Definitely. Chris Jones is a beast. Went with that power out to the weak side right there, and Throne was all over it. Throne in that overstorm brave, which is not really the most popular defense right now. Prodigy goes back to the air. Nice little baby dot there to make it a manageable third down. No huddle. Hurry up. Wow. Third and four. He saw something he liked. I think he's going to go back to that, to that play we saw him do earlier. Uh, maybe have a tight end post with a motion slant. He's gonna flip the play. Yeah, look for a, look for a motion slant here with Goodwin and then Kittle on a post. Nice little baby dot. Motioned out a 
Motioned out a flat route, caught him not in a cover two, and that's an easy dot. Yeah, phenomenal read right there by Prodigy. He realized there was no flat out there, like you said, flat for a nice pickup. That's the only pass I've completed since January. Yes, this is a single elimination tournament to the chat, but this is the round robin wave format. So uh -oh. you get out of each round robin. Ooh. And speaking of getting out, big hole, able to get there, almost get out to six for them. Yeah, there's that Matt Breida, like we said, so much speed, a little stretch. No one there gets to the one yard line, and Prodigy is in business. Yeah, look for a dive here, I would think. Yeah, dive up the middle of the Mostert. Mostert. Easy touchdown. Touchdown. Way to start off the game if you're a prodigy. You came, won a game that you probably shouldn't have, taking that momentum, making the most of it, and here comes the camera guy again to take pictures of me in the baby chair. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, like you said, Rico, prodigy, his first two games, his first two drives, easy touchdowns down the field. So his first drive of these games has not been a problem at all. But it's just been later on in the game. But nice drive right there. And let's see what Throne can do with this high-powered Chiefs offense now. <laughs> that pitch back is really risky. Uh, we saw that happen to Clef. I think Clef in one of the MCS tournaments cost him. Lost of possession because of it. All right, Throne. This is going to be his first offensive drive on the stream. We get a chance to see what that explosive offense was looking like when he was debacling JT. And speaking of which, JT and Civil Civil are about to kick off on our B matchup. We'll keep you guys in the loop on that score as well. Yeah, Ravens versus Ravens over there. But here we go with uh, Thrown now. He's in that New Orleans offensive playbook. He loves his gun tight offset. You know, it's got some good corner outs. He's going to audible around a little bit. Very high powered with these Chiefs. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna run that inside zone against the uh, 146 until Prodigy shows he can stop it. We'll see if Prodigy adjusts. That's why I, I personally don't like big dime 146 against this tight. Yeah. You can scream at it, but I don't like it on first down. Damien Williams didn't have doesn't have that get, getaway speed right there. It could have been a touchdown if he had someone else. It looked like he had a little bit of room to the outside if he could have got there. He goes to the air here. Corner out. Oh, nice defense. All over it. Yeah. Prodigy seemed like he was completely ready for that. Now, if he can have that kind of contain with that coverage in mind, it's going to be a long day for throwing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. He's going to doubles week, so I believe he's in Green Bay. Offensive playbook, oh. actually, instead of New Orleans. Yeah. But they both have that tight offset. Nice click on by Prodigy there to make that user tackle. If he doesn't click on like that, that might be going for a first down, possibly six. Sammy Watkins, he's good in the open field. Yeah, he went with Jeez. that bubble. That, that, that bubble out of doubles week is super good. Yeah. But uh, Prodigy was playing phenomenal defense right now. Prodigy's really Third good. 11. If you're thrown, you have to be like, hey, what happened? Last game, I couldn't do anything wrong. Now I'm struggling to get first downs. Prodigy's really good at knowing how to stop things like that. Bubble screens, some of that bubble gum offense. As my guy, one great user would say, that bubblegum offense. <laughs> he's got the bomb. Oh, he's got him. What a oh, dot. It's, it, was, it was Demarcus Robinson, guys. If that was Tyree <laughs> Hill, he's probably in <laughs> the end zone right now. Nice throw anyways, though, by throwing. Gets himself out of a sticky situation. <laughs> that was a incredible pass. Like, literally, he threw that a million yards. Patrick. <laughs> you gotta love Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. That's why you got that Mahomes out there, man. My homeboy. He's getting it done. <laughs> That's crazy. And speaking of getting it done, let me tell you how Strafen dropped the ball for you guys out there in the, the Twitter. Why do you world. gotta... He said he was gonna pick me up from the airport yesterday. <laughs> As I waited a half hour for him to pick me up, I was at Orange County Airport. <laughs> He was Ooh. at LAX. Ooh. He caught that? What? Yes. He caught wow, the hurry up. No just, huddle. just respecting <laughs> him out here. This is old school man. The ultimate hurry up disrespect. Every play. Hurry up every play. I miss those days. That's what we did. They had to put a rule in that you couldn't do it after incomplete passes. Those are the days. Got so bad. Accurate days. Wow, great. Song. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. 
You said it at the wrong airport. Anyway, he told me he was flying into LAX. You're he lying. shows up at Santa right. Ana. He's like, oh, I'm at Gate C. And I'm like, there is no Gate C. And he went to the wrong hotel yesterday. Terminal C. He went to the wrong hotel, too. He's all over the place. I had the wrong reservations for my rental car. It was a horrible start to the weekend. If it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Oh, man. Amy was just giving me an earful. Amy, for those of you who do not Amy, live on call the West call. Coast, <laughs> Los Angeles and Anaheim are not that close to each other. No. We thought they were right next to each other, but we learned between that and traffic, GG's in the chat. A yeah, big third and goal here. Here, Prodigy, you got to try to hold him the three. He's I'm probably, I mean, he's going to run inside zone, right? No, he's going to pass on the one oh, yard we, line. And, and he's he fumbled. And you pay just, for it. What is, and, that's what he, and that's six. So far as so. Buckner. Shotgun on the one yard line in this game. In this economy? Yeah. That's, that was exactly what I wanted to say. Why do you make things harder for yourself over and over again? You had it at the first goal. Yeah, Rico, you nailed it. Just a bad play call right there. Just just not smart if you're thrown. I know you want to air it out every play, but you just cannot afford to do that on the one-yard line. You paid for it. This is exactly how proud you want to set the game now. You can control the and, clock. And, guys, I think this is that just shows the experience factor coming into play in these tournaments. I mean, that's something you can't do, and Prodigy's going to take advantage of that all day long. Shout out to Save Time in the chat. Another user challenge winner back in the day. Now, you want to talk about stick work. He could click on with the best of them. Anything that was up for grabs, he was grabbing it if he was in the secondary. If he was on offense, we, 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 we. Don't care about ice. I miss the young fella. How's he doing out there? Kid's a legend. I want to see him in Spoto in a reality show so bad. <laughs> I would tune in every single week. <laughs> I think if he would have went right... On that last run, he might have been able to break that a little further. Yeah, now we got a fourth and one. Throne's got to get a stop. And looks like Civil just went up 7 nothing in the other game as well. I like to say Spoto is the only person I've ever sworn at while playing Madden on, on the main stage. He got under my skin that bad, 17-year-old. <laughs> Was he beating you? So, yes. <laughs> Are you more mad at him or Winko? No, I was... Oh, Winko's a nice dude. I wasn't mad at him. I was mad at myself, but I was mad at Spoto. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> and speaking of great, you got to get off the field here. You got to make a great play. You got to do something. These fourth and ones are the opportunity. You don't get that many opportunities on fourth and one to get off the field. This no. is a game that's been really tough yeah. between the running and the little dots. What's the play Ooh. call oh, here if you're product? Nick, right there. And our yeah, there's a turnover, a pick six. You know, game. In our game B. Wow. That was civil. Now, if you're prodigy here, what's the play call? Do you think about airing it out? I mean, I'm, I'm hitting the ball. It's fourth and one. You got the Niners versus the Chiefs personnel. Just give the ball to Brita. That you do. He's passing. He ran commit. He's got oh, him. It's a dot. Nice play. He ran commit. Wow. Man, there's a reason why we're here at the desk. And while they're playing, and that was a great call. You he said he took it to the air, caught him off guard. Wow. Throw him. Thought he was going to run, but instead, yeah. Prodigy, throw him the ball. That's what makes <laughs> Prodigy tough. He's, so, he's such a balanced player. He mm. can do whatever oh, yeah. you need to do run the ball, pass the ball, play yeah, good that's defense. That's the thing about Prodigy. He doesn't have like a great strength, but yeah. he's just so good at everything. Basically, basically everything. Yep. And that's why he makes deep runs at every tournament. Yeah, because he can just adapt to whatever the game is. And that's why I respect him so much. And I respect players that are good at year after year after year because yeah, it's so exactly. hard because Matt oh, changes so, hard, so much. Yep. Exactly. So I respect you, bro. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Especially coming from Aquaman. Maybe get me on one of your next movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lamar's getting jiggy over here. Man. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na. Na-na-na-na-na-na. If you think about doing that again, no, All right, now Throne's in trouble now. Oh. But he's got, he's got him up top. He's back in it just like that. Pick up the knees. If Touchdown. You blink against this Kansas City Chief offense, they will take the lid off immediately. And just like that, we are in 14 to 7. Prodigy. What a dot. Call that offense back on the field. You got to make another play. Yeah, phenomenal play right there. That that Chiefs, man, they're so good. You can score one play like that. Tyreek Hill, 99 speed. Now we got a game. That's exactly what you couldn't give up if you're Prodigy. You got to make him work for that. He's probably kicking himself. Even if you give yeah. up three. You can't there. give up one play touchdowns. Yeah. That hurts. No. And Prodigy, 
like we said, doesn't like to play defense like that. He wants to make you work, yep. think and dunk down the field. That one-hitter quick yeah. just takes the air out. It does. And then it's tough to turn around and get right back on offense. You, like, man. You get so sad giving that up because you work so hard to get your points. Yeah, and Throne's struggling a little bit here with some run defense, and a big part of that is this Chiefs personnel is just not the greatest versus the run heavy attack. And, you know, this stretch just looks like it's there for Prodigy every time he goes to it. Oof. Yeah, I don't, I'm not I'm not enjoying seeing this type of run defense. No, it doesn't. It's just good. Have you seen defense for it? I just see I mean, it's hard to stop the run this year, obviously, but yeah, this is just making it too easy on the stretch. This was a really good defense when it first came out because nobody knew how to like take care of that. Usually that would swerve in the middle, but everyone's got something for that now. He's bringing the heat here. Wide open post. Got a dot. Ooh, almost a click on pick. Nice job by Throne. But that was a great job. Jimmy uh, G's 5 for 5 for 114. Wow. Jimmy Garoppolo. Can he keep it up in the fourth quarter is the question. Of course he can't. <laughs> As we see in the Super Bowl. Goes back to that strong close here. Shout out to Niner in the chat, by the way. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> Power O, strong side. Nice defense right there. Yeah. Now, if you're thrown after that big victory you had here, you got down 14 nothing. You starting to feel your swag coming back now? You got that touchdown. You got Tyreek. Now you, you getting your momentum, your juju back? Yeah, I mean, I think Thrown feels fine about his offense. You know, I think his main concern is trying to slow down these Niners right here. He hasn't had an answer for it. Prodigies look great. Prodigies using this clock. And I think if, he, if it Prodigy, you're cool with taking your three, going up two possessions at half. Nice little dot. Yeah, it gets scarier if you give up three. What's he? Unless something crazy happens, will do before half for Throne. By the way, shout out. We already talked about this, but shout out to, to Throne's YouTube. Go check that out. I think it's Throne TV. He's been killing it with the yeah, Madden content. Yes, He's a good dude. Iowa boy. Shout out to the Midwest. All right, 26 seconds remain. Oh, he needs a big tackle here. Ooh. Uh, and he goes out of bounds. So now, honestly, guys, Throne is going to have a chance now on offense. 23 seconds has all three timeouts. We know how high powered the Chiefs are. If you're thrown, that's a big win right there. I don't know. Settle down, Fabio. He's only got 20 seconds. He's not going to get one play touchdown anymore. All right, Doug. <laughs> for those of you Doug out the there, for those of you out there who did not catch that, yes, he called him Fabio. <laughs> that might be the call of the game, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We, all right, under 20 seconds left. How do you determine whether you try to make something happen here? Where you just say, you know what, I'm going to take it into the half and call it a day. No, if you're thrown, you got these high-powered Chiefs. We saw him go deep to Tyreek so many times. You got to take your chances here. Look for Tyreek Hill down the field with a deep bomb. We got an Aquaman and we got a Pirate on commentary. You love to hey, see it. Keep me out of this. All right, he has 15 really? seconds to go. Oh, wait. Can he make something hey, happen with hey, three Mahomes is lit up. Mahomes is lit up. Mahomes is lit up. He can throw it 300 yards. Look out. Bombs away. It's Boba Glory. Oh, my God. Oh, he got him. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. He did it. Wow. <laughs> and just like that, oh, my. eight seconds. <gasps> Spinal beans took the lid off. That's what I'm talking about. And you about. can hear Throne yelling laser. Wow, oh what a God. what a change in the game that right there. That just changes everything. Huge play by Throne. Oh my wow. God. Wow. Wow, what a dog. That that's why you use that Tyreek Hill 99 speed. You can't let everybody get behind you. You know what they're looking for. You know the time remaining in that half. Can't do it. He, he threw the ball 90 yards in the air. Double like, coverage. <laughs> Double coverage. Run. Just no one can stop that man. Prodigy trying to get sticky here with Brita. This, this game is NFL Blitz. <laughs> wow, Mahomes, right, if, right after you said it, Strafen, Mahomes is lit up, and then he goes for glory. <laughs> Unreal. What a dot. I thought it was a pick at first because he went up the, the corner. He and, threw that. And he gets ball in half. Miles. Wow, what a momentum shift. Throw and get the ball through. unanswered. <laughs> like, I said, well, too, I I was like, there's no go. way he's going to give up a one-point touchdown. 
He, he's, he does he, it. If, that's, his, if you're a prodigy, that's got to kill. His contains keep hurt. getting glitched. That's, he's got to use a spy or something. I don't know. If you're civil, aren't you <laughs> thinking to yourself when you see that prodigy game, you deserve that because of the way I lost that other game? That's true. Sometimes yeah. Madden's good to you, sometimes it's not. And speaking of Madden not being good to you, civil is up 21. Wait, hold on. Let's see scored. which Raven scored. Breaking news, JT just scored. It's 21 to seven in the Civil versus JT game. And we have a 17-14 game here at the Prodigy versus oh, Throne. He's, he's trying to glitch his, his uh, contain again. Here it comes. Ooh, D Ford's going crazy. D Ford. Ooh, he got that away. Wow, D Ford is fast. And Mahomes five for seven, 217 and two tutties already. Exciting stuff. What does Throne say? Life's too short to check down. I love that. I stand behind that comment. <laughs> I'm trying to get 60 yards every play. Not this year, though. All right, 17, 14. You, you got, now, when you this down in distance. Oh, he was trying to bomb him again. Ooh, he got too greedy. Yeah, this guy throwing is just going for He's going that's for what I'm saying. With the success he had with those two deep passes, do you think that became fool's goal now and that's all he's looking for? Yeah, I think he's getting too much into that zone where, you know, he's trying to go deep, hit him with the bomb, and Prodigy knows that now. Nice stop right there if you're Prodigy. Man, yeah, you're 20. You're the punter. Yeah, true. Well, I, the, went, I well, went into practice mode and I was labbing punting. That's how dark things have got. you plan on getting stopped? Yes! <laughs> I told you I haven't scored since October. And the fake punt? Hey, if you're Volterax, that fake punt, you know? Oh, Ooh, great. Nice little wiggle. You want to sing that song again? Na, 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 na. No. <laughs> na, 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 na. Getting jiggy with it. I'm all fresh princed out just because Ooh. in Miami at the Super Bowl, you yeah. know how many times they played? Welcome to Miami. Bang, bang, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. And speaking about being okay, oh, look at that stop and go. We're watching the Ravens on Ravens on our B set, and these guys are both using Lamar pretty well. Another first down for Prodigy. Mm -hmm. and Prodigy wants to use this clock now. We're getting close to that fourth quarter territory here. Plays that ball control, slow offense. Could you say fourth quarter again for me? Pack your cat, have it, cat. <laughs> that Mahomes <laughs> is like that awareness. He's wicked smart. <laughs> that Mahomes is wicked smart. Chowder. <laughs> Pull a clam chowder. Wicked smart. He was eating that defense like chowder. Like a bowl of chowder. <laughs> Tyler's not having fun. Sorry, we're done. All right, we'll see if. He goes to Aaron it out here. I feel like the more, more times he runs this formation, he wants to pass out of it. Yeah, I agree. Maybe a little drag to the le from left to right. Yep. It's all about the slant post combo, the drag. He post. needs to do something because he does not want to find himself in third and ten. Maybe a little halfback wheel. He loves his halfback wheel out of this deuce close. He goes with this sometimes. So look for a halfback wheel to the wide side. Good deep, good defense. Better dot, though. Better dot. That was a great read. Yeah. He had the wheel covered, great... he had the post covered, and he went to the hitch. That was a great route combo right there. He had that wheel to the wide side, then he, like you said, had that backside post over the hitch, goes underneath to the hitch. See, he's he's so patient. Like, a lot of people just throw that wheel or that post no matter what. He'll take the baby dots. I love the patience Prodigy plays with, too. You know, he reads the defense, he takes his time, he gets in the right play call. All right, as we're ticking, 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 even closer to that fourth quarter. You think the guy's getting a little nervous you now as it's getting down there? Because you do not want to wind up one and one playing for your life. Yeah, exactly. And Prodigy's, I feel like, has all the pressure here in regards to getting seven. He needs seven. See, I think there's more pressure on Throne. A just too. because Throne still has to play civil. Yeah. Whereas Prodigy yep. has an if Prodigy easier... goes two and zero here. He's in business. You know, he's cool. But even if he goes one and one, you got to feel good about. Yeah. Because you have the tiebreaker against Civil. And he'll play JT next. And he Ooh, plays JT next, exactly. so he has to feel better 
then throne saying, oh, man, I got a hell game with exactly. Civil coming up for my tournament Yeah, that, that throne Civil game could be winning it in, honestly. Both guys could be one and one here. That That's could be, be great. That could be a great game, but we still got a quarter to go here. Uh, wing flex close. He's going to flip the formation into this deuce close. Maybe another wheel roll. I mean, Prodigy's been impressive with his passing plays out of these formations. He goes back to that same combo. He's got the post. Nice dot right there to Kittle. That was as good of an offensive set as you can run. He went and took exactly what he was given, made the correct read. He's clicking on all cylinders right now. Yeah, his offense looks great. He's, he's, he's playing balance with the run of the pass, but when he has to pass, his dots have looked great, and then he's had this stretch a lot. Nice tackle, though, if you're throwing. You're staying alive by a thread right here if you're throwing. You can't give up a touchdown. All right, you can see how the chat's talk, talk and interpret a little bit. This is going to be a really, really big goal line stand here. 28-7 to seven in our B game right now with Civil leading it. Got to hold him to three. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, that dude was like, yeah, he's he fumbling. Is he still up? Is he going to run? Dude, he rolled over the guy. He was like, he hasn't going? touched the floor yet. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. That That's was, the rule. That almost got weird, <laughs> as you like to say, you know? Yeah. Let's get weird out here. And that almost get, got weird, but. Let's get crazy. Now, if you're thrown here, third and goal on the big. floor, this is the biggest play of the game. Um, it's hard to score in the red zone, too. Huh? Yeah. Touchdowns. What's the play call? Run or pass, boys? He's definitely going to pass. He's definitely running the ball. He's, he's going to pass, but he's going to throw a safe pass. He's not going to try a high ball. There's no do. safe pass down here, Rico. Yes, it is. It's called a run. The <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> only safe pass is a run. He went conservative there. Down there. Now, you got to feel great if you're thrown right now. Not great, but you got to stop. You, okay. you have a chance. If you give up seven, yeah. there, that game. You, you held the door. You held the door right there. You had to do it, and you did it. You give yourself a chance. And Prodigy almost, you know, he got a little conservative there. That's the one knock maybe on Prodigy is that sometimes he does get a little conservative, but it has helped him. Wait a minute. Uh, in his past. You watch Game of Thrones? No. Then don't ever say that again. Hold the door. He doesn't even know what he's referencing. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Of course I do. The wind coat is coming. The wind coat is coming. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> We're supposed to be friends. Cut that out. <laughs> you got to watch it, though. Yeah. No, don't even. I know dragons. It seems corny. Yeah, it's it's good, though. Little, you know, I'm not into that stuff. Trust me. I'm, uh -oh. I'm, heard, I'm heard, not a nerd, heard, but it's good. Things, but... All right. Here he goes. Thrown. This is his guap drive. Now, he's only scored with the two big one-hitter quitters. Can he bring this clock down? And make this his last drive of the game. It looks like he's trying to inside zone, but that's not really his game. Ooh, takes a big hit. But yeah, if I, if you're thrown here, I think you got to take this down to the two minute warning now, and uh, give yourself a money drive right here, game winning drive. All right, there's the two minute warning. All three timeouts remain, trailing by six points. Ball on the 40 yard line. This is what you live for as a competitive Madden player. Yeah, I want to see thrown, you know, go some underneath stuff. He's trying to go deep every single play. Oh, oh. oh. Ooh. he had him. Did he? He deep? had him up top. Oh, yes. Oh, I thought he had the corner too, maybe. Yeah, I thought he had the corner. I didn't see Or the rollout run. Yeah, he had something. Just he not just, that Not that one. Whatever he just threw. That was the wrong He just read. keeps letting himself get glitched. His, his uh, contains. Thrones just trying to go for glory every play. He really needs to con take control and go underneath a little bit. Life's too short to check down. Throw in 2020. That's a great <laughs> quote. All right, throw him looking to make something happen. Minute 54 remaining. He oh. gets outside. He's got him! He's got him! Oh! Wow! Did you hear him? He had about 30 yards. Yeah, that's what he had last time, too. I think this time he was able to get it off. Now, did he score too quickly? He's glitching everything. He's glitching he cover four. He doesn't even care. Three. He doesn't even care. He just. I do not call cover two zone with a deep blue. Yeah. And you have to. There's only deep Especially with play the cheetah out there. We have that Tyreek Hill jersey behind us, and he's going off right now for throwing. Holy, what a dot. He's Is that how he scored every single touchdown with a one player? Yeah. Right? That's with Tyreek. Uh oh. Ooh. Man, if you're a prodigy, you got to be sick. Two one play touchdowns. 
like that. But you're in pl you're still in control here. I think he glitched a cover four there. <laughs> yeah, that was just his, there's just no one that can cover Tyreek. His safety was just backpedaling as Tyreek flew by him. Ooh. Good run defense. We were making fun of it earlier, but it's yeah. Like, I mean he's to... he's got twenty one rushes, fifty nine yards. It's true. Like, he's making pretty it work decent. For it. It probably just been able to pass when he needed to. That's been college graduate. What is that per yards per run? Roughly. Uh two and a half? Jesus. No, more than that. More than that. I can't believe. Bro, you put me on the spot. I can't believe you got into college. Two point. It's three yards, buddy. Almost, not exactly. 60 divided by 23. It's 59 divided by 23. I said ballpark, and you'd go two and a half. Yeah, it's, it's probably like right in the middle, two and a half and three. Just whatever. <laughs> Give me about a second oh. to answer. <laughs> a great completion. He grabbed that one out of the air. Just be a businessman. Minute 10 remaining. He's trailing by one. He just needs three. I'm not touching my taxes. I need your, I need your people to talk to my people. All right. Right now, Prodigy needs three. Yeah, he's going to the air an awful lot here. He yeah, goes he back to that same route combo, that hitch with the backside post or the post over it. It's been effective. He goes with no huddle here. Clock's ticking. It's really interesting. You can actually see him go through his progressions as that play developed. <laughs> see, there. He's got there. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh low dot. Nice. We're okay. Man, that was great, scary. Great I'm right not there. going super, that. No it's super what. hard to guard those in zone. Can he make the ice kick? Huh? <sighs> Robbie Gold, like you said, Ryan, has a noodle leg. Yeah. <laughs> so no, he's he's this probably, is tough. He, he needs five seven. He needs seven, Yeah, I was gonna say he gets to get to 35 to hit this. Shout out to the man, Bills Club champion Stevie J in the chat. Oh, my guy came out to the Under Armour All-American game Legend. with me. Legend. Great times we had out there. We just, you know, a really nice guy. We talked about yep. this earlier. Good kid. Yep. One of the nicest. He Stevie enters. J, Blocky, Wesley Gittins, three of the nicest. Was that a paid advertisement from <laughs> Wesley Gittins? <laughs> Trying to, <laughs> trying, I feel like trying to stir up some <laughs> home base to put for Joe Rice. His own crew members get mad at him. <laughs> Anyways, hey, third and ten. This is huge. Fourteen seconds. This is the biggest play. He has no timeouts, guys. He needs to get out of bounds. There we go. Got to cook one up. I, if you're throwing, you might bring the heat here. I'd bring the goons. Yes. He's got oh! it! Wow! Wow! What wow, a dodge! Who throws that for the game? Prodigy, Prodigy standing up. Look at him. Oh! But wait. He might have left. No, stop it. Seconds. Don't even. Hey, from Don't what even. we've seen, <laughs> this has been day. Hey, from what game. we've seen. I don't know if it's the coffee or the games. This but is I'm your shaking. type of game. This yeah, is your this type is beautiful. of game. Prodigy's been airing it out. It's a beautiful it. game. Wow, what a phenomenal thought. This is beautiful. I don't like it. He, he takes a knee. You know why? He didn't want to get kicked. He didn't want to get his kick blocked and return for. He returned for two, and then he's only up three. Why not just go for two? Possible fumble, but you're right. <laughs> <laughs> he's you supposed to go fumble. for two. He's up you could fumble six uh, it, though. Yeah, you're right. He's up five. He's supposed to go fumble six. Interesting, interesting. I don't know. What does the board say, analytics nerd? Tyler? <laughs> Go for two. Speaking of that, what's 12 times three? 36. All right. I'm just testing you after that. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you, do you... I'm in quarter three deep. I don't know Dude. what he's doing. Oh, he no. needs a double oh, team, no. Tyreek. He, oh, I thought he threw it deep. Oh, oh my God. He's got a second. Why, are we not Why is he not in cover three quarters? He, he's going to catch probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's <laughs> oh, man. I'm... You should just run back there. Just go back and cover it yourself manually. Here we go, boys. One second left. And you know when Madden leaves that second on the clock. Now he's in quarter three deep. Here we he's go. He's clicking around, though. I'm, I'm running back there with, yeah. He's got Mosley back there. He's pretty fast. He should have hiked that ball a long time ago. He's cooking up something. Oh my God! I swear. Oh, oh my God! If he would have caught almost, that, he almost caught. Wow! Wow! And what there you game. have it. So close, yet so far for Throne. Prodigy goes ahead and gets a gets it done. Moves to two and zero. Oh.
wow, got to be a got to be a big weight lifted off him after giving up all those one hitter quitters, able to come back, fight back. You got to feel good about yourself, right? Yeah, definitely. And this group has not disappointed, guys. We've had two phenomenal games so far, and now we have Throne and Civil. Winner gets in. Now, Civil is up 35 to seven on JT. That one's just wrapping up now. So normally we would bring you that main game of Prodigy and JT. We haven't seen JT before, but I'm calling for the flex. <laughs> We're calling yeah. for the flex. We need to see that win and get in between Civil and Throne. Guys, it has been a nonstop action-packed first set of games. It's only gonna keep getting better here at DreamHack. And the funny thing is, a lot of Madden 20 games are pretty boring, a lot of run, 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 but these first two games have been great. Um, obviously, the run's been involved, but very exciting. One play touchdowns, you've seen Mahomes do his thing. This last one's gonna be great, they're winning it in. Yeah, this group is not disappointed. Like we said, three of the top 16 guys probably in this tournament, all in one group, and it's been phenomenal so far. All right, well, we've had some great action and a lot more to watch. We are here, Madden 20, Anaheim, DreamHack. Stick with us, we'll be right back with Civil and Throne.